am feeling so mean. I'm picking Charlotte up from school. The surgeon's just called. He wants to see Charlotte. He's asked her not to eat anything or drink anything and it doesn't sound good. But I'm just pulling up to the school now. I'm gonna grab her from school. Poor Charlotte. All right, wish me luck Empire fam. So Empire fam, it all started with the physio appointment. So I was doing my exercises and when it came to throwing a ball against the wall and catching it, I did it a few times really good, but then he told me to throw really hard. So when I caught it, this happened. Okay, so Charlotte's heading in for her scan. Yeah. How's that little baby finger going? It's gone a bit weird. So when I went into the x-ray room, there was like lots of beeping noises and this really big x-ray thing. And like, I was really scared and really hoping that my finger was going to be okay. I could see the lady looking at the x-rays on the computer and I was just hoping that I didn't need a cast or a splint. So it turns out I needed a splint. So the x-ray was sent to the surgeon and he called my parents to say that I may need to get surgery. Okay, Charlie, where are we off to? We're off to the hospital. I think we're getting surgery. We have to go see the doctor, don't we? Yeah. All right, have you got your bag all packed? Yep. Is that your splint there? Did you yeah. want to show the Empire fam? Got my splint. So guys, I'm really worried if I'm going to have to get surgery. I wonder what the doctor will say. As you can see, they've taped it up already and yeah. Hey Cha Cha, you ready to see the doctor? No. No? <laughs> You'll be okay. You can probably see from my face, I was freaking out. All right, Charlie, we're waiting for the doctor to come in, waiting for the surgeon. Yeah. You ready? No. No? Oh. oh, he's very nice. We spoke to him on the phone. I really wasn't ready. How's your hand feeling? Show me this hand. Come on, turn your hand over for me. Make a fist. Okay, good. She's been really brave. She hasn't had any pain meds. I gave her Panadol tough. once. Girls are tough. <laughs> if you were a boy, you'd be like, <laughs> I loved it when he said girls are tough. We are really tough. That's the issue. The more common one in kids is um, the one that's sort of here. So you make, bend these ones down. I know it's a bit hard with that guy. Try and bend that guy down. I was trying so hard to bend my finger so that I wouldn't have to have the surgery and I can show them that it was all better. Alright. See that's wanting to cross over. So it goes out to the side but it's also rotated. It's hard to see on that one initial x-ray because it's off to the side slightly but most of the deformity is actually rotational. But hers is sort of wanting to do a bit more of that. In kids very rarely do you have to cut open. It's incredibly uncommon. He was so nice but I still felt really, really scared. Yeah. You guys happy with that? Happy? I don't know that I'd say we were happy. Empire fam, this was going to be Charlie's very first surgery, so we were feeling really, really nervous. Really nervous. Once it's in the right position, it's very unlikely for uh, it to move. So, Empire family, he said I have to have surgery. This is our lovely orderly who's coming to pick her up to take her around the theatre. 16th of August, 2011. Okay, let's put this on this one here, seriously. Doing it on that one. So when was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? Um, she had a Milo at 7.30 and then she had a small sip of water um, probably about 9.30. What about food? No food. Empire fam, I was starving. I wasn't allowed to eat anything just in case I needed surgery. Jewelry, any jewelry? Can we take these out? Oh yeah. And have you have got any clips, like metal clips no, in your yes. in your beautiful hair? Look at that braids, braids, plaits, oh, no, plaits, no, braids. braids. Uh, just everything I've already. Cool, cool. And we can stay with her. You can't be in your bed, Charlie. Yeah, they said that they're going to put me all year around in the bed, so that's really weird. I oh, know that's going to feel strange for you, but they'll take you all the way in. And then they'll bring you all the way back out and they'll have your lunch waiting for you when you're finished. Yeah. How's that feel? Is it getting numb yet? No. <laughs> Not yet. Little Didn't they put it on the wrong hand? 
No, it's going on the opposite hand. Okay, do you want to say bye to the Empire fam? See you when you get See back. See you, Empire fam. So, only one of my parents was allowed to come into the surgery room and they decided between themselves. I wish they both could have come in. So, Empire fam, this mum came with me because this mum cries too much. Oh, I do get a little bit emotional. <laughs> and I, I don't cry, do I, sweetheart? No. <laughs> Let's wander on. Okay, see ya. <laughs> so, as I was getting wheeled into the operating theatre, I was really scared. I didn't, I just didn't know what they were going to do with me because it was my first time having surgery. Okay, you put that on your head, please. And this one for you. Nervous. Yeah. Aww. Give me a kiss. Okay, and bye fam, so Charlie has gone into surgery and Beck's gone with her and I'm just waiting here in the room. But hopefully they won't be too long and hopefully she's okay and not freaking out. Waiting for Beck and Charlie felt like forever. I was in a room all on my own and it felt like the longest time. So it was really nice when Beck finally walked in. So Empire fam, the hardest part for me was when she was having the gas to put her to sleep. Uh, the anaesthetist held the gas mask on her face and she was saying she couldn't breathe and trying to pull the mask off her face. Um, but I knew the, ha the gas had to stay on her face so it was really hard for me and she was looking at me to help her get the mask off her face and it had to stay on there and so she was held down with the mask on her face. So that was the hardest part for me to watch. She was like ripping the mask off and to hold her down and pushing the doctor was like pushing her face and pushing the mask on and full on. I was like, is she, can she breathe? Why is she making that noise? Like, Finally, she was back. I remember being wheeled back into the room and I saw all of these plugs and lights and then I saw both my mums and I knew that everything was going to be okay. Hey. You're famous, Charlotte. <laughs> uh. Let him get you into position. You got the same one or you? You guys are gorgeous. Too good. So you're on for an hour. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Two hours and you'll be able to come here. Sure. Can I have your finger for a minute, Baba? While that works, I'm going to go and give you what I promised you. Oh, thank you. What are you getting? Why does she? Don't share, don't tell. <laughs> That's a surprise for me too. Because he just got home from school and he said, he said, it is. Can you guys see that in Pi-Fam? Presley said that through. <laughs> and he says, love you guys. Great job for getting through it, Char. Charlie and I are really close and we get along. Well, most of the time. I really wanted to be there with her, but I was so happy that we could FaceTime. Say hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey, Char. Oh, come on, you got an icy pole. I was so relieved when I saw Charlie all happy out of surgery, even though I was jealous that she got twisties and icy balls and lemonade. Yeah. There she is. She's just woken up, Bob, so she's a little bit sleepy still, but she's good. Yeah. Look at him, little rascal. Mum told me um, before I went to sleep, she told me about the Buzz Lightyear thing when you got yours. Oh, how many times do I have to hear that story? <laughs> <laughs> Empire fam, when I was three, I had the same medication Charlotte had to put me to sleep, and I thought the bright light above me was Buzz Lightyear.
I was three. Presley is definitely, I have to say, the most caring brother. But he definitely annoys me sometimes. Yeah. But me and Presley look out for each other all the time. No matter what. Hug? No. Can never get any love from this girl. So proud of you. Do you feel like he just had a really big sleep? Alright, I'm perfect. I'm going to get some rest and I'll see you soon. My family means the world to me and I couldn't have gotten through my first surgery without them. Where are we going, Charlie? Home! Yay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit better since they had something to eat. So how long do we have to wear that for? Um, four weeks. Whoa, that's a long time. And then what, it's all better? Yeah, it's all better. Okay, Cha-Cha, here we go. 